and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Jess Guy tokens. We have a pretty nice looking donation deck here where we're going to be trying to use the power of divine visitation to make every token that we create into turn every token that we create into a 4/4 four, four white angel creature instead of with flying and vigilance of course instead of whatever else it's supposed to make. So that means that Legion War Boss is going to make angels that that have haste and attack immediately. Chandra makes two <laughs> two angels. So like that that just seems really sweet. Chandra making two angels. That's got to be really good. And then of course we have Dovin and Sahili to make some angels as well. We got these Sky Knight Vanguards that can do some attacking in the air and just make some chump blockers for us or of course later on when we have the visitation out make some 4/4s. Four um, and then we have, uh, callous dismissals gives us some removal, some, some, uh, ways to just slow the opponent down. You know, it doesn't, doesn't take anything out for good, but that amass one, when you have divine visitation turns it into a four, four. So our deck is going to be looking a whole lot different when we have visitations to when we don't kind of thing. So we're going to hopefully make a whole bunch of angels. Besides that, we have some just Good removal. Clarions are awesome in this format. Shocks are just fine as well. So is Binding. Ugin's a real powerful card. And of course, we can either depose our opponent's creatures to slow them down, or we can deploy some angels and gain some life with that deploy part. So that's our deck here. Sideboard, we got like Cleansing Novas for the green decks, Devout Decree for Vampires. I feel like the, the aggro decks are going to be kind of, are going to be what's going to give us a struggle. So you got to have those in. Uh, the, the donation deck here had Alpine Moon instead of Blood Sun. I really like Blood Sun a whole lot more. But also looking at our curve, our three drops, I mean, just like look at this, this curve here. Our three drops are where everything's at. So I understand not wanting to play Blood Sun and just add more three mana cards uh, in the sideboard. So. Uh, we got Alpine Moons instead there, and then some more removal fries and coils. All right, so let's let's give this a try. Let's see how Divine Visitation does for us here in this Jeskai Tokens deck. All right, here we go. Uh, flame sweep. I don't know, Deafening Clarion is just so good. Like with Nissa Lands being three toughness, and oh, there's just a lot of things that are three toughness. Clarion is just so good. I think it's worth it. Yeah, that'll be that'll be the thing to see is how how well does our deck do without visitation. I'll definitely be the thing to see here. Hawkeye's getting all the camera time. He's like, is it time for my dinner yet? And I'm like, no, Hawkeye, we got one more league to play. So it's not not time yet. We got another league to play, and then I'll be getting you your food. Hello. So we can make our opponent think Feather instead of, you know, we play the Glacial Fortress, then they're probably more than, you know, uh, Deafening Clarion's more on their mind. But playing a couple Sacred Foundries here kind of screams Feather. Let's clean up these mana creatures. Get that two for one. I'm not sure how Kaikur would work with the deck. Maybe Kaikar would be good. Yeah, we went 5-0 with the Sultai deck. Muldratha was awesome. The deck felt great. It was a whole lot of fun to play. It was pretty cool. All right, no more Risen Reefs for you. Stop playing Risen Reefs. 
Get him out of here for good. No more. I hope they have three more Risen Reefs in hand. That's not very likely, though. Um, so next turn, I'll be able to Chandra minus recast Clarion. Let's just make a chump blocker here. Shoulders of giants. Yeah, Binding Risen Reef is really nice. Don't really want to see Nyssa, because even though we have the uh, Clarion to play, they just keep on making more 3-3s, three and that's a problem. So don't really want to see Nyssa. Phil. I will protect the virtue of this world. The land shall conquer you. Clearly, the shortcomings here were mine. Hmm. Together, we'll create great things, you and I. Anyone need a fire started? No? Too bad. Fire spreads fast. All right, I'm going to, with, since, since our opponent has the Nissa. I'm going to wait another turn before we Clarion try to get another <clears throat> another land that they tick up on. Not ideal. Either. Omnath can grow their creatures above Clarion and also gets to hit Chandra. This is not ideal either. Alright, we need to draw a visitation. <laughs> we really do. Sahili can turn our uh, artifacts here with Sahili's minus. Sahili can turn the artifacts uh, into another creature, so we could turn them into like more war bosses, which is pretty cool. Yeah, hopefully they make the Trailblazer into a three-three. Doubtful though, con considering they it's all on board. They know the Clarions in the graveyard and, and everything. So maybe they don't have another land in hand though also that that'd be honestly the best is they don't have any more lands that's honestly the best I hope they have two risen reefs in hand that'd be the best keep it up and you'll pay Oh my gosh. Did they really just do that? I was so lucky. We're so lucky. It's a gift. Rise, my elemental friend. They at least didn't tick up on another land, though. Cease this aggression. So we're still definitely in trouble, but that worked out pretty well. No, we would have. We they couldn't kill Chandra. We could chump block. I mean, well, yeah, they made a new creature and then attacked with three things. Maybe that. Behold, but yeah, true power. we got pretty fortunate there.
Besides the whole, Nissa's still going to be really, really hard to beat. Ah, enough. Divine Visitation. No. Because visitation will make the war boss, like the war boss will start making angels that can really attack this Nissa hard. Be wary of the ground you walk on. All going at Sahili. I really want to kill Sahili. No, oh, have one of the brawlers go. Have the brawler attack me. Or oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Another land down. We've killed two lands now. Hmm. Is it worth it to bounce Ixalan's binding and then binding the Nyssa? And they have Risen Reef back, of course. They draw a card. They may. This may be another Risen Reef that's over here in their hand. And basically, their whole deck's elementals, and so they're going to draw a whole lot of cards. I don't know. You think this is going to be harder to beat? I wish I didn't use that Shock now. I don't know, this Risen Reef. Could be a lot of trouble too. It's certainly kind of seeming like maybe our deck should just be playing for Divine Visitation. Good sign, good sign. I like it. Bad sign. I don't like it. Yeah, no, we couldn't, couldn't bounce the land. Even though that land was a creature, yeah, we could not callous dismissal the land.
shall not dissuade me from battle. Blah. Okay. For each elemental you control. Not just attacking elementals. With a new Visitation. Okay. Not bad. Oh, you don't have haste? I guess that'd be pretty good if I had haste. Looks like taking that getting rid of the Nissa is the thing to do. It's definitely looking like the thing to do. Um Yeah, I wish I could bounce the land. Yeah our, our, yeah, our deck has some underpowered cards. That's okay, though. Yeah, imagine if we did have Divine Visitation, how awesome all of these turns would, would have been. Yeah, we could really use uh, that Visitation at any time, deck. Any time now. Any time now. <laughs> They'll show up at some point. So we got the two Sky Knight Vanguards to double block the Stormkin. We gotta chump this thing and chump this thing. We gotta draw it eventually. No, that's it. Nissa did too much damage to us. Uh, so we definitely want these Cleansing Novas. Perfect for this matchup. I think that's kind of about it. We could play the Lava Coils. The Callus Dismissals didn't look very good. We did get to bounce that Ixalan's Binding, but it didn't seem... Yeah, you know, like later on in the game, when we were just like bouncing their creature, they replay it. We get a 1-1 that jump blocks. That's just not worth a card. I want some actual removal. So let's get these lava coils in here. And... Maybe Sahili. Hmm. 
I'd rather get rid of Deploy or Sahili. And the Deploy. I don't know. You can gain a good amount of life with these, though. We'll get rid of Sahili's. All right. All right, Link. Have a good night. Thanks for watching and everything. Yeah, I could definitely see our deck having a white finale in here. Yeah, white finale. Yeah, white finale does seem like it would be a pretty good card to have. I'm not really too sold on the Sahilis. Ah, maybe white finale instead. Because I think that you need like a lot more spells. Like more more like card draw spells and stuff like that to keep keep playing a lot of stuff for Sahili. An Abzan deck with Kethis as your legendary. Are you talking about for Brawl, I guess? Cause yeah, that's a that's a pretty nice Brawl legend. Well, let's leave it with the Temple of Scryumph. Yeah. Alright, we just gotta draw some lands. No, I haven't. Uh, I haven't seen any Charnel Troll decks. I was definitely looking at Charnel Troll a little bit for a deck not too long ago. I don't remember what. But yeah, no, I haven't seen anybody make a Charnel Troll deck. Um, that does seem like a card that, like, with Cavalier and Tamiyo and Cavalier, they get to fill the graveyard up. You know, if you, if you want to really build towards that. The main question is, of course, is Charnel Troll, even like when you get to like exile creatures all, all the time, is it still good enough? You know, with how powerful the cards are. You know, we have like Rotting Registor that's a 7 6 that requires less work. But yeah. It'll just be two player brawl. Prison Reef. So I guess we're going to save the binding this time. trade war boss for two elves if they want to make that trade that's fine I'm not so yeah I know I could have like shocked in and had shock to protect the war boss but we don't really need to do that I'm gonna just be killing the risen reef also Got a lot of stuff here. Leaving them with not stuff is good. So we got an, a binding for whatever they play. So two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. So we'll have lethal here. Oh, plus eleven because the this thing makes a token also. Vanguard, so it's 11. Alright, so we didn't have Divine Visitation that game. But War Bosses and Vanguards did their thing. So let's go ahead and give this another try. I know. Didn't get to see the Visitation. That's sad. We're all looking forward to the Visitation there. But yeah, all good, all good. Do, 
do 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 looking out my back door game number So we'll see if this hand gets there or not. Well, obviously we want to draw a shock land, make our life better. Don't think this is a mulligan though, but their cards can overpower these, that's for sure. This is Vanifar, this avatar from the Simic bundle. Oh yeah, your rock is probably going to be OP and brawl. Usually, like your best commanders though are like really cheap ones. So like you could use your planeswalkers for for your commanders. So like playing like like probably the best the best one that I can think of that's going to be still around. The one that that I would be the most scared of is probably like Narset. Like being always have like turn three Narset, or is it like is it like Teferi maybe? Turn three to fairy every single game in Brawl. Maybe Chandra. Honestly, mono red with Chandra. You just always have Chandra turn three. That's pretty sweet. You can have the four mana Chandra also. Yeah, mono red's probably going to be really good in Brawl. All right, well, they don't have very many cards. They mold down to five. That Risen Reef, you know, draws them a card, and we just got to get that out of there before it draws more cards. Of course. Of course. So I want... I want to lead with Chandra here over other options so that Chandra can Lava Coil again if need be. And there we go. So we played the Chandra last turn. Attack. Say hi to my fiery friends. <laughs> Death by a thousand paper cuts. Yeah, you need to replace Jade Light Ranger in that deck. Maybe uh, Midnight Reaper. Anyone who stands in my way is getting sizzled. Maybe a few, couple Midnight Reapers and like a Play Crafter. Let's make some more room to fight in. What? What's that card? What's that card doing? Except for being uh, super rude. Go get him, buddies. can always do better next time. We can like get to ultimate Dovin pretty quickly. Go Dovin tick up. Uh, 
that's the plan here. I look forward to seeing your mistakes. Can maybe ultimate Dovin next turn. Hey, we need we need three creatures to do damage. I would Etrada. I'm not I'm not sure who Etrada is, Quants. Is that a standard card? Is that a card on arena? The three five that does hit the counters. Etrada the silencer. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so um, all right, so how does that work if that's your commander? Basically, uh, I guess, yeah, it says, yeah, how, instead of shuffling Etrada into their library, I believe you'd just be able to put Etrada back into the command zone. I believe. Most situations, no matter how Where's Visitation? Are easily remedied. Oh, come on, we get to look at 10 cards, there's no Divine Visitation? Boo. Well, I don't know. I guess we'll take this thing and this thing and this thing. Yeah. I know. I'm sad too. No Atrata. Or no, not a try. Sorry, no, no visitation. I've learned a bunch of Wanted to play visitation there. Hey, these little guys are great. Could have made a whole bunch of hasty angels with war boss and Chandra. Yeah, it's gonna be lethal either way. I've been a more, you know, we want to actually do our thing. I thought it was lethal without playing that extra Chandra. Turns out it was, you know, by by two, but I didn't count it. I just played the extra Chandra. Oh yeah, Vivian Stompy. Just mono green where you always have always have turn four Vivian. That's that would be a great brawl commander also. Alright, we got the visitation here. We got some some token maker things. We need lands. A good start. Vampires. All right, well, that thing gets really big really fast. I know I have the Ixlons binding, but I'm just going to... Just going to go ahead and cast that. That Bloodthirsty Aerialist is super scary. I wouldn't really mind waiting for War Boss. Waiting till after we have Divine Visitation in play. Helicopter. Some units in. Let's deploy. Deploy the Thoptas. Hmm. Deploy the Thoptas. Jeez, Citadel? What? What is this? Uh, 
That's gonna be scary. Yeah, talking about the YouTube channel, Rex, that's a place to see all the replays. You know, it takes a little bit of time to, to get them up on there, but it's, it's, it's loading. Citadel's the real thing. That's the real deal. Got our divine visitation just a tad too late. It depends if you want the extra toughness comparing this to Child of Night. Child of Night di dies to Chain Whirler, this doesn't. Yeah, that, that 6 drop just absolutely destroyed me. You're jealous we couldn't get to our 5 and 6 drops, so yeah. Mortify. That's really rough. Mortify certainly makes me want to play Binding less. Man, those disfigures were really clutch. All right, I'm gonna take a, take our two worst cards out of the deck again. I'm probably gonna just be boarding these out quite a bit. Sahili and dismissal. I don't know if I want to bring in negates just for some removal spells for the most part. I mean, yeah, they had that that six drop. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to like they're they're still their core. They are a aggressive creature deck with a you know just tons of creatures and, and that's I could I could definitely see me having negate in my hand while a bunch of creatures are just beating me down. No, not really, gorillas. Oh, that got my blood pumping. I've never seen it in action or anything. I was, I was thinking like saving creatures till after Nova. I don't enjoy seeing things suffer. But I'll make an exception for you. Bleh. You really look like they had disfigure from how things were getting played earlier. Mm. Can I wait? 
One more turn and just Nova everything else? No, let's let's get rid of this. It's the small things that matter. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly why we're playing Negate instead of Dovin's Veto. Uh, yeah, we could play Dovin's Veto, it'd be perfectly fine. These results are an anomaly, not to be repeated. I don't have, like, a, a good reason of, like, why we have Negate instead of Veto. <laughs> Cleansing Nova would be pretty nice right about now. Cleansing Nova would have been nice. In case we need to block this champion. Come on. I guess we just start killing stuff. Our mana has not liked us these two games. Two games in a row of just sitting on four lands. We cannot get to five. Don't mortify. Sad. Still have five guards in hand. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, the two the two champions, you know, they drew nine cards off two champions. It's just so hard to beat. This is eight cards. Drew eight cards. Four and four. Mighty curse. Need a fire started? No? Too bad. I have way too many things I need to devout decree. Right now. That thing doesn't even count as black? How is this not black? Oh, it's a creature or planeswalker. Okay, never mind. That's why. Okay, sorry. Remember this one? Sorry, read the card. It's not a permanent. These Creature of Planeswalker. My B. Going big with the vampire deck there. Hawkeye, it's raining really hard outside, isn't it? Hawkeye's just looking outside.
Hey, Scamden. Thanks for that resub there. Man, it, yeah, it is pouring outside right now. Yeah, that Sultai deck was really cool. Um, it'll be up on YouTube eventually. The, the uploading is going kind of slow. It's going slower than normal right now. I wonder if... I wonder if that's because of the hard rain outside that's just suddenly started raining. Yeah, basically the the Soul Tide deck just ground ground all of our opponents down. Uh, lots of creatures um, had ant, you know had good removal like with the creature removal and everything, and just uh, yeah, just looked really impressive. So like, obviously I can shock the Trailblazer, but we could also just wait for and Clarion next turn. Assuming this is Risen Reef, because there's there's not an elemental deck in the history of the world that's ever not had Risen Reef on turn three. Whoa, it's not Risen Reef. All right, so actually, we'll shock this and then go War Boss. Alright, we'll see if we get to draw this fourth land. The one thing about the deck is it doesn't seem like... You know, it, basically, it seems like there it would be nice to have more card draw. Like, ways, just any ways to draw cards in the deck. Because we're just kind of relying on, you know, hitting five land drops and also having spells to play. And then those spells beating the opponent because we don't have... We don't have like any any card draw, basically. <laughs> Turn three is a little slow for Risen Reef, to be honest. That's true. All right, well we snuck through elementals last time. Ooh, guess their hand's not so good. E. Hmm. Awakener does seem pretty good with Icon of Ancestry. I guess maybe I need to binding that Icon of Ancestry. So yeah, now this gets back the Trailblazer. Chart of course seems like a good card draw spell. As far as card draw spells go. Reef has risen. Okay. 
Well, I, I mean, I need to just do this, but... That visitation is awesome. Best draw. My inventions bring joy to me and others. Now we're starting to, yeah. Now we're gonna make a bunch of four four flyers. It's hard to beat four four flyers, especially especially just with an O three. Hmm. All right, we'll have to wait a turn for the O four, or for the four four flyers. Even me. Wow, oh, yeah, that's thundering outside and everything. Hoping the internet doesn't go out like while we're while we're doing this. I don't know why it's storming so hard suddenly. What a glorious day for some anarchy. Like yeah, we went 5-0 with Sultai Value. Deck was pretty <laughs> impressive. Alright, the poor Vanguard is probably going to get... Probably going to get killed by the Domri. Aw, oh, hey Hawkeye. You scared of the... Scared of the storm outside? You know, come curl up here. Oh, poor baby. There'll be nothing but dust when I'm done. Yeah, there you go. I'll move for you. I'm honestly not sure if I should just be blocking the Omnath here. I, f I feel like if they had another land, they would have just played the land with my insight, I didn't right away. See this. Oh, they had a strike. Perfect. What a draw. Now, two divine visitations don't don't do anything together. The second the second one doesn't do anything. No, I don't play fantasy football. I do fantasy baseball. That's why. That's my fantasy sport. Um, yeah, easy. Probably, maybe look for, like, Team or Elementals kind of thing. As far as a, a good, a really good deck to craft that's not losing very much. Uh, Esper, especially if you want, if you want, like, interactive, Esper is very good, very interactive. You can go, like, Esper Hero. All right, Divine Visitation got us game one. So again, we're going to go Nova, Coil, Cutting, Sahili, Dismissal. <laughs> the second visitation means it's an 8-8 angel. Duh, that's just logic. Yeah, Esper Hero will also be around basically everything in Esper Hero except for Teferi Hero of Dominaria. Basically everything else will be around after rotation. So those are those are two good choices there. Uh Demir Control is another good another fun interactive deck that's mostly all like you know, like on Monday I played a ro rotation proof Demir Control deck uh that looked 
that felt really good. You know, like we we did really well with it. You know, with just rotation proof stuff. Uh, if you missed that, check it out. The rotation proof deck from Monday on the YouTube channel there. And same thing, I, I added rotation proof Esper hero list as well from the previous Monday. Hey, All-Star. <laughs> yeah, Clarion and Warboss don't necessarily work super well together. But Warboss is like our, our late game. Like, as we saw there, like, you play Divine Visitation, play Warboss, kills them really, really quickly. No, yeah, there's 25 lands in the deck here. Yeah, there was... Actually, the the, the the donation deck actually had... So they shocked in here? The donation deck actually only had 24, but I... I that was one thing I changed. I took out a Sahili for a 25th, because... Ah. So I thought the deck definitely needed 25 lands. Gotta have that. So we know they have... They have the one, two... The, the Thunderkin Awakener that brings stuff back. So if I just shock the Risen Reef, they can bring it back. If I just want to go, like, shock Dovin... So I want to coil and get rid of it for good. No accord, no peace. I bow to no one. I will gladly point out your inadequacies. Chin up. You're doing me a favor. So basically, I don't really want to play the war boss before the Clarion. And also, war boss isn't doesn't feel really that great to play here in into a Domri that can they just play a bigger creature fight. You know, like they just play like land uh, Omnath and then like fight kill your war boss. For Arena, rotation will be the end of September. We don't know the exact date. Should be like the 23rd or 24th is my best guess. Hmm. All right. Well, we're gonna play our things. This is no mere trinket. I'm gonna just try to get this dove into ultimate, so we can get a bunch more cards. That's my card draw that I'm gonna look for. To 
not very confident in my plan right now. Oh, come on, a fry? Incorrect. Go ahead and gloat. That was a great card. That's some card draw. Forgot we had Ugin in this deck. We just hadn't seen Ugin at all. <laughs> Forgot we had that in our deck. Let's start getting some card draw here. Let's make some 2-2s. Two they'll die. Make them block and stuff. The release date in paper is October 4th. Pre-release is the 27th of September. Therefore, release on Arena should be during the week before that. So, uh, if it follows the same from the last, the previous set, it should be like the um, the 23rd or 24th of September. No, don't don't kill my Ugin. We won't answer to other guilds. I need more cards. No. Too many unreliable variables. Ugh, that's a bad sign. Ain't the first time I've been knocked about. It's just all lands for us now. Oh, have at it, boys. I mean, well, a random card in our deck is probably better than just two 1-1 one, one flyers. Now I guess two one one flyers would kill the trailblazer and kill the Domery. The most important part of that being the Domery. But then a Awakener gets to put in Risen Reef, which we can't really let happen. Oh gosh. So I'm not gonna let them attack with that thing. We'll Clarion here. They've drawn five lands, even with like Risen Reef and stuff, and we've drawn double that. Ugh. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> I guess I should just destroy. I guess maybe I should have used this just to destroy all artifacts and just kill that icon of ancestry. Didn't consider that too much. Maybe I should have just done that last turn.
Yeah, I wish I would have done that last turn. Whatever your plans, they're statistically likely to fail. What hurts them heartens me. So they can fight and kill my blocker here, but that kills Domery. And that will kill Dovin. <laughs> You're welcome, Rex. Let me know how it goes. Let me know how you're liking the Sultai Value deck that we just got done playing. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do make a lot, a lot of decks that destroy wild cards. <laughs> oh, I wish you could the destroyer see of wild cards. Yay! I can benefit from another's success. The one, two. They don't have quite enough mana to pump the Trailblazer three times. Arena's not letting you buy gems. Unknown error crash. Huh. Oh, never mind. They could have. It's plus one, plus one for each elemental you control, not just plus one, plus one. So, yeah. I wonder why they didn't just pump it and then have Domri fight. Results are an anomaly, not to be repeated. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't just pump Domri fight. I'll be back after I've licked my wounds. You'll see. Well, for. Our last match that we lost because we just got stuck on four lands both games and couldn't play Divine Visitation. Drawing 38 lands this game is a breath of fresh air. He said sarcastically. There's, there's no real reason not to play land or to play land like i don't have i don't have like the card draw in my deck that i can i can cast enough things like there so basically with this deck there's no reason to play the lands like i just can't like i can't actually spend that much mana in a turn there's not any combination of cards So might as well hold them and maybe my opponent plays around stuff. Like them thinking that maybe I have instant speed removal like shock or strike so they're not going to pop the trailblazer up too much. They're only activated once. They won't activate it the second time. Because I'll kill it or something. Oh, my creature has vigilance. Yeah, I guess I, yeah, I should have attacked. Sorry, I was sad, sad with all these lands. Should have attacked there. And yep, now yep, y'all are telling me that. So yeah, should have attacked there. They could be at ten.
Maybe they're scared to settle the wreckage. They don't seem very scared to settle the wreckage. They don't seem very scared of anything at all. Yeah, some rough shuffler for us, but that that's just going to happen whenever you don't have card advantage. Oh, that's only game two. Yay, we get another game. Okay. I thought we were dead. All right, we're not dead yet. But yeah, that's going to happen when we don't have any card advantage. We're just kind of relying on, on curving out. So sometimes it'll work, and it'll be awesome. Other times games like that happen, and it's not so awesome. Yeah, the Grixis Pirate deck was a lot of fun. It went 4-2, and it played six good decks. You know, sometimes uh, you know, sometimes you don't play good decks. You play, like, beginner decks or, or you know, like, not, not tuned decks kind of thing. But it played six good decks, and a lot of close games. Close, Both our losses were close. Some of our, some of our wins were pretty close, too. But it was just really fun to play. Admiral Becca Brass was a lot of fun. The deck played really well. So yeah, they really liked the Grixis Pirate deck. That video is up on the YouTube channel currently. Yeah, Ascanta would, would be good in the deck. Yeah, besides, like, we have... Almost all spells. Yeah, Ascanta could be pretty good. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Yeah, Chandra making two angels is quite awesome. Getting those tapped lands. All right, where is this divine visitation at? Uh, it's probably yesterday, uh, Jack Nolly. Uh, yeah, yesterday we had a lot of gifted subscribers out. So if you were just watching yesterday, um, if you had it up, that's where you probably got your your sub. Yeah, the angel still gets sacked by Chandra. Chandra still says to sacrifice your angels. You have been analyzed and you know it says sack your elementals or whatever. But yeah, they they get sacrificed. My blood pumping. All right, well, a couple of two-for-one Clarions. And 
the one for one, like the shock and the Dovin basically trade one for one because the Omnath finished off the token. So we've traded three for five so far. Good trading, good trading. Um, so yeah, that that gets burn spelled. No, did not get burn, burn spelled. I'm adding a counter to Chandra here. I'm gonna get Chandra away from burn spells. Just doing two damage with tokens isn't super valuable. Sith Overlord, welcome to the channel. Can't believe Mother Ludi gave us homework. Thank you so much, there, Sith. Appreciate that. Our thirteenth sub of the day. All right, so five loyalty over there. Not a bad number. Say hi to my fiery We're gonna draw divine visitation. It will be divine. <laughs> the pigeons are coming. Just gotta get that visitation. We can make some little pidgeys. I think we should have made this, the sub emote a submarine. Make it a sub sub. Instead of the sub boat. Boats are cooler than submarines though. That's why it's a boat. People are like, well, aren't they supposed to be like hey, sub trains? It's like boats are cooler than trains. But I could see sub subs. Sub subs are pretty cool. I do like getting subs for lunch. Oh, they're so cute. So that's. So yeah, subs are also nice. Well, can our Acolyte of Flame get the job done? Maybe we'll draw Ugin? Remember, we have a couple Ugins in the deck. So Ugin or Divine Visitation? Either one. So 11% of our deck are either Ugins or Divine Visitations. So we have 11% we have chance to draw one of those. One out of nine. It's like 11.11% .11 repeating. Yeah, the sub sub sub. The subscriber submarine sandwich. Sub sub sub. Ah, a land. Our opponent has eight minutes left. They are playing so you slow. Guys are great. I have nineteen minutes left. <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing it's like internet connection problems because it's just like every decision just takes a little while. Which can happen with Arena. Arena is a very intensive program for what it is. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they they definitely have like a shock in hand. Yeah, like it's something that every single thing is priority, but still like all those priorities, you know, take multiple seconds like this. Which could be a connection type thing. That's good. I mean, it's just a spell <laughs> that we can cast. Uh, 
the bar for good is very low right now. It's very, very low. It's it's two one ones. <laughs> yeah, this this card could be something stronger in our deck. We're talking about like getting card draw in the deck. This this could be something stronger. Yeah, Drawn from Dreams. Yeah, because like Drawn from Dreams like helps you find your really important divine visitation. Try to course though. Also, just oh, whoops. <laughs> well, I'm getting a counter on this, so it doesn't die to a shock, plus another shock. What if we win by our opponent timing out? Yeah, I think I think my opponent just has like one for one removal spells in hand. You know, I think they have like shock and fry. Um, I think that's two. I think that's two of the cards in their hand are shock and fry or or lightning strike. Honestly, probably lightning strike. It's probably lightning strike and and fry. I think that's two of the cards. I'm not not sure about the third. Second main phase, Sean Tokens. Lightning Strike gives them priority, though. So I think that's so why I think it's Lightning Strike, Fry, something else. All right, Risen Reef still broken. Darn! I didn't get to binding that Risen Reef before they. Found another one. So I'll coil one reef and binding the other. I mean, obviously I could just cleansing Nova, but they, they can get their creatures back. Jack. So I could Cleansing Nova, then activate Chandra and attack for two. I'll, I'll just Cleansing Nova. But yeah, so I, I could Cleansing Nova, then attack for two. Or I could just attack for two, put a loyalty counter on Chandra, and still Cleansing Nova. Well, as long if you have a spell open and you have the mana to cast it and it's an instant, it shouldn't just go to their turn. All right, plus we had the backup. By doing it this way, we had the backup of Chandra Kid. Kill those if need be. They're coming up on having 14 more minutes than us. All right, there's the strike. I don't have enough squares right now. Unfortunate timing. Ooh, I look forward to seeing you running away. So I still think they have a fry, and I don't know the other card. Though they might have also just been big dogs. Really? Now divine visitation. Not like all the time before that, when we had Chandra for those million turns. It was a 12.5% chance there to draw a Divine Visitation or Nugan. We finally hit. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I mean, I don't know. I guess they're not legendary. Why not binding the Domri? Because the Domri doesn't do anything. That card's a problem. Ugh. Bring him back, Risen Reef. I'd rather save binding for like uh, that artifact, Icon of Ancestry. Or I don't know, some other card that does something. But this thing doesn't do anything. Add a mana, doesn't matter. Fight my creatures, doesn't matter. I'm sorry. Were you doing something? Spells can't be your creatures can't be countered. Doesn't matter. Doesn't really have relevant text. Oh no! Wrong card. No, I want to play coil. We were just talking about binding, and so I just played it. Uh, I wanted to coil. Uh, got counter the, so they would have countered the coil and then we would have binding that thing <laughs> dude it's all good hooray all right we'll see if they have another striker shock very likely but maybe not come on don't kill this go to combat don't kill it no That would have been a lethal 4-4 four, four angel. Oh, have at it, boys. We just got to survive for another 2 minutes and 20 seconds. That's all we got to do. <laughs> 15 minutes behind us. Oh no, that thing kills you quickly. If they still have the Fry also, if that's like a card that, if I actually was reading that Fry correctly, it could have been Flame Sweep. But if they have Fry also, then they get to kill my first Angel here. No, I don't do any EDH. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be making Brawl decks, though, for that format on Arena. I was raised by wolves, though they might have also just been big dogs. Okay, war boss. Can we do it? Come on, let us have it. Let us have it. War boss, go to combat. Come on. No. So close. No, we're so close. Yeah, this is probably our last draw step. I guess they don't have any lands in, in their hand because they would just play lands and get a counter on Omnath. So those are probably all spells. That's a good one. If it doesn't get negated, that's pretty good. Resolve. We do get to gain a life and make a angel. It's hard so to they have to have removal for angel, plus they have to play a land from another success. to get that extra power. So do they have that fry that I called a long time ago?
I think our opponent's dead. They ran out of time. Never seen anybody run out of time before. I've played so slowly. <sighs> All right. Let's go fight through another match. Here we go. Two and one. We had it the whole time. Yeah, timer was added a couple months ago. But it just never, never comes up. Because you have so much time. You have 30 minutes. I still had, you know, 16 minutes and 40 seconds on my timer. Yeah, so it's probably internet problems with our opponent there. But they didn't have lethal on us right then. So, like, even if, you know, saying that I should have conceded to give my opponent a win before they lost, they, they had seven power and I was at eight. So it's still possible for me to win there if I had, you know, if I draw like another, you know, war boss, for example, or a, Sh a Chandra, like, you know, a Chandra that makes two haste angels because one angel kills them. So like the game wasn't over. No, we don't have any Dawn of Hopes. It certainly feels like we could use some Dawn of Hopes for these really late games. Or something. Yeah, and magic is timed. All right, three mana card here would be nice to play. Do we get a third mana? Darn. Maybe we could borrow some of those lands from the last game. Does it work like that? Oh no, is this a mulligan when we only have two lands? On the draw? Were we on the play? Maybe we were on the play. Probably just discard the Callous Dismissal there. Anyway. Don't think I want to shock that one drop. Or like the 1-1. One, one. <laughs> yeah, the deck is not being kind to me. We're getting punished for having for that 5-0 with Sultai value.
Good news is they don't... They only have one card, so they don't have too much going on. But they have the Field of the Dead. Beating Field of the Dead is going to be really tough. But maybe we'll draw two more lands and a Divine Visitation for our next three draw steps. Two lands Visitation. We have Alpine Moons in the sideboard, which I don't like as much as Blood Sun, but we'll see how they work. Our deck is filled with three drops, so it makes a little sense to play Alpine Moon instead. Oh no, are we playing against another really, really slow player? Okay, thank you. There we go. It's getting too late to just play another match where every little thing takes 20 seconds. So I need them to pop the blast zone before and like before they kill Chandra. Okay, that's a good draw. We need one more land and a Divine Visitation. And an opponent to let us play. Alright, that thing's gone. That other 1-1 one, one has to attack, so just might as well attack with. The other things too. So we can't cast anything from the graveyard. Let's just put a loyalty oh, counter I'm a brave on Chandra. With help. We'll have binding for like Krasis or Teferi if they draw either of those, but preferably Teferi. I really don't want them just to draw Krasis in general. Because that would be tough. <laughs> I wish we could Ixalan's Binding Tokens and then no more tokens. That'd be nice. Can I Binding this Field of the Dead? Well, that's rude. That makes sense. Say that Field is not allowed to leave Ixalan. That makes sense, right? I 
I look like? I constantly seek to innovate. Say hi to my fiery friends. I can attack with everything and get the Dovin up to seven, but then we don't have any defense. So they can just kill the, they could kill the Chandra or, you know, like do damage to the Dovin <clears throat> also. This is the easiest block of all time. Just block a token. The other one goes through. How does this happen? Back to back. How does this happen? I am dying over here. This has, this doesn't usually happen, but like Sometimes it does. We had I had another league that I played. I don't remember what deck that it was like this. Like every match was so slow. The problem is like Scapeshift is just too fast of a deck. Like that they can just win like basically right away. So I don't I don't think we can win on time in this matchup because they just you know like they draw like a scape shift and it's like oh game's over kind of thing or you know like things like that for like other games. I, I don't think that <clears throat> I don't think it could the match could take twenty three more minutes. What's up, flat dude? Thanks so much for that resub there. Thanks for helping. Fourteen. Not just a gadget, but ingenuity. All right, we can have Dovin ultimate next turn. That's pretty important. Dovin ultimate can get us. Like fifth land plus divine visitation, probably, you know, digs <clears throat> digs ten cards. Excellent timing. Trust me, I have a plan. One, two, but I wouldn't mind binding that to fairy though either. Let's see what we got going on over here. The array is I mean I can just kill the, the ready for inspection. Yeah. I can just kill the fairy though. Alright, so visitation land and then oh wait I already I just I guess I drew a land so I guess I don't necessarily need land we could go visitation Ugin I suppose and Dovin or do I just grab the other land to have I think I just grab the other land to have hooray Divine Visitation. I guess they're like super dead. Say hi to my fiery friends. This is hardly my worst. Maybe could have killed them there. No, probably not. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Divine Visitation. Coming through here. I'll follow you into the dark.
This is a rare occasion. I'm not often wrong. You got it. We got pigeons. Through this land, we are all connected. What? Why didn't you just? The land Why didn't you just kill the Chandra? What? But you could just do that in your in your main phase. Look at the little pidgeys. I don't... I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, Alpine Moon in. That's our plan. Negate. Certainly in. Um, we're gonna take out deploy. Sahili could be a little bit better here. I don't think I want any of the other things. I mean, we could just play more Cleansing Novas if we want more Sweepers. Which, maybe that's what we need. Maybe we need more Sweepers. Yeah, it's probably good to have more Sweepers. Maybe we should cut some of these creatures if we're just playing all these Sweepers. Alright, Rakuguru, have a good night. Yeah, Blood Sun's better than Alpine Moon. The list, the, the donation deck here though had Alpine Moon in it, and the deck's just full of three drops. So I guess, so I guess that's why it has Alpine Moon instead of Blood Sun, because of all the three drops. Ugh. No, this doesn't count towards that thirty-minute timer. Yeah, Deputy of Detention is, is very nice in this matchup, the one-side sweeper. Maybe my timer went down with the sideboarding, honestly. Maybe the sideboarding does count. I don't... I think my timer was this far down. Is it possible that it does count? Alpine Moon is so awkward. Like, we have to name Blast Zone. Yeah, Blood, Blood Suns would be so much better. Like, imagine us just playing a Blood Sun here and then drawing a card, and we don't have to worry about Blast Zone. Then if I name Blast Zone, then they could, like, bounce one of them, and then... Oh, this is so awkward. This cannot bounce lands that are animated. If you 
show remorse. I'll show you. Here we go. They bounce the field of the Deadland. Are they bounce the blast zone land? I must seek comfort in the land. I'll protect you. This Teferi is really awkward here. Alright, so Alpine Moon just has to be alright, so I know we talked about like how we have a bunch of three drops, maybe but it just has to be Blood Sun. Blood Sun is just so much better. It's just not really comparable. And this Cal's dismissal is yet again our worst card. Hmm. I've got time. So I could have Ugin kill the Teferi so the Teferi can't bounce the binding. All right, got to draw a sweeper. Just have like negate available too, though. All right, so what we've learned is Callus Dismissal and Alpine Moon aren't really, aren't very good. All right, so they are playing Krasis. We didn't see Krasis like that first game. They just never drew one. But they are playing Krasis, so let's get these fries in here. Can kill Teferi, can kill Krasis. Small Krasis. Um, I'm going to take out a Vanguard. Okay. Let's see if we get game three here. All right, rats. Have a good night. Alright, this is a lot more aggressive hand. Assuming we have lands. But this is like where you can kind of see like where you'd want Alpine Moon instead of Blood Sun as a hand like this. Where like Blood Sun it would just cost too much mana. Because we only have two. 
and then you have like the other things you want to be playing on turn three. So this is the argument for um, Alpine Moon instead of Blood Sun is this kind of hand. I just absolutely hate having to name Blast Zone with Alpine Moon. Just absolutely hate it. Just hate Alpine Moon's weakness to Blast Zone. That's that's the main problem with Alpine Moon, is it's so weak to Blast Zone. That it that it means that having two the you you know doesn't let you Um it doesn't let you team up on Field of the Dead, which is what you need to do. You need you need to have multiple of these on, for Field of the Dead, but you can't because of Blast Zone. And so now I just, you know, instead of being able to name Field of the Dead with both of them, we will not fail. Rise, my elemental friend. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the next set will have that's really good against Nissa. You know, they printed like Noxious Grasp. Um, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Nissa won't be as good without Land War Elf, just kind of in general. But on the, the uh, flip side, there standard in general is going to be a little slower, which is good for a card like Nissa. I don't know. I am not going to sit this one out. Let's try this. At least that blast zone doesn't do stuff. So they have three blockers. So if I play War Boss, we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six attackers. So you do get to kill Nyssa. If I can play if I can play Chandra instead to kill Nyssa. But then Chandra dies. So it's kind of which one would I rather have die? I think I'd rather have War Boss die. Plus, they could have negate for Chandra too. I'm so glad they did not have a land there. All right, we need to draw a land. We need a cleansing Nova. I need a rest. Blow up these creature lands. I could sit back so if they have a counter spell, I don't just lose. I 
think the better play is get a damage on this Teferi. But we do lose if they have a counter spell. But if they have a counter spell, we're not we're not really beating these three threes anyway. You just let me know if you're up for round two. So they didn't block with the two twos, so they let Teferi die. I mean, they could also just have Scape Shift, I suppose. Besides just Counterspell. Alright, GG's. <clears throat> Alright, so it went 2-2 two -two here. A couple of times we got to do our thing of have divine visitation in play and then make some tokens and that was really sweet whenever we got to do our thing um, unfortunately we didn't get to do that thing very much there was a whole lot of games where we either just didn't have the mana to get to divine visitation or we just had lots of mana and that's what that's going to happen when you don't have any card draw and we're just just kind of hoping that our cards line up here so for suggestions for the deck, I would recommend taking out Callous Dismissal, Sahili. Sahili does get better if you start adding in card draw, but Depo at least Callous Dismissal and Depose, these, these two cards are just, they're too weak to be doing anything. Um, so like Callous Dismissal, Depose, probably Sahili also. Just like those seven slots, um, we got to have even like the van. The van card's okay, I guess, but we got to have like some velocity through the deck. You know, we had to have some deck manipulation. So you know, cards like Opt, Chart of Course, uh, Drawn from Dreams, things like that. Um, even like Planeswalkers that draw cards, like at our top end. Like Ugin was good because Ugin draws cards. You know, we have like. That you know, either Teferi, like the Teferis, could be kind of nice. Um, but yeah, mostly, uh, basically, just kind of trim, trimming these and getting card draw in here. Narset uh, kind of also costs three though, so we, we'd want to kind of just keep m more ones and twos. I think like Ops and Charter Courses, uh, kind of thing. For for those, and then maybe like. Because this is three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, you could just have like, you know, three opt four charter course instead of those. But if we want a drawn from dreams, maybe just a couple of, maybe like three opt, three charter course. Kind of see which which of those you like more. And then drawn from dreams just does could do a really good job of actually finding divine visitation. Whoops. You know, so it could actually find Divine Visitation, plus help, you know, get another land drop or things like that. I think Charter Course is better than Winged Words. Because there are just going to be too many times where Winged costs three. You know, like early on, like if, you know, like it's it's just going to cost three way too often. I think you just want Charter Course. Um, you know, if you have like extra Visitations, you can ditch them or, you know, extra Chandras or Dovins. Because, you know, like there's those games like where we just have like a whole bunch of Chandras, a whole bunch of Dovins. They don't those planeswalkers don't really play that well in multiples. So I think that kind of stuff could just help out quite a bit. Um, and then, yeah, playing those, I know blood sun does cost three and we have a whole lot of things that cost three, but hopefully with that, it helps it out. But Alpine moon is just kind of embarrassing of a card. And like, it's, it's unfortunate. It'd be really nice if Alpine moon actually stopped scape shift. Like, like that deck, it'd be really nice because, you know, having a one-mana answer would be really nice, but it's just, unfortunately, a little too weak. Need to go with, like, some Blood Suns there. But there we go. Not not too many changes, just a little bit. I think that would really help the deck out quite a bit. Um, you know, playing, like, Karn... Or, like, honestly, maybe instead of Drawn from Dreams, it's just Karn. Actually, that's probably where we want to go. 
Let's get some Karns in here. Yeah, Karn's kind of awesome. Now come to think of it. Karn's kind of perfect. Because you can still minus Karn and you, you can make an Angel. With the minus two, you can make an Angel. Or it just gives you like that, that card advantage with the tick up and everything. Just helps you dig through your deck. Helps you hit your land drops. Karn's kind of perfect. You tried Karn, it's meh, but okay. Okay, well... Well, if you just want the... I guess Drawn does really just go through really fast. So, yeah, if you want, want to go Drawn... There's got to be... we got to have some kind of velocity so we're not just drawing one card a turn because it's just not going to be strong enough. Um, but, yeah, Drawn, Drawn digs really, really far for Visitation. So I really like that, how it does dig really far for Visitation there. <clears throat> Sleerzen, thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, Timmy, did you... Or I'll answer you here in just a second. Anyway, so that's Jeskai Tokens. Um, if you're watching later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But thanks for watching Jeskai Tokens here, and I will see you for the next video.